Everybody's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. We got a new EDC bag to look at today. Uh, I might have mentioned this the other day uh, when I was doing another video, but recently I've gotten several bags in, and one was actually unexpected. So I've kind of got two bags that are around the same size that I'm just like, what do I use for what? And I'm still figuring that part out. But this is one that I had planned on getting. And this is an updated version of a uh, bag from FanQuest, and it is the Mobius V-Packer 2.0. We're going to go through this, you know, what's different about it. I had uh, one of the original ones. This is, and, and I don't think I ever did a video on it, to be honest. Uh, but this one is really nice. It harkens back to when these type of bags were first first became big and that was like around 2007 2008 that's when everybody had uh, the first generation max Pedition fat boy and it's like you weren't cool unless you had one everybody freaking had one of course I was the rebel and I got like a thermite instead and then I wished I had a fat boy but anyway that being said if those are the people that don't know VanQuest is founded by founding members of Maxpedition. That's why they're kind of competitors. And we're not going to get into all that, but that's why it kind of got some similar ideas, even though to me they're very, very different, and I tend to lean more towards VanQuest. That's what I like. So if you want to see this bag, if uh, you're looking for these types of bags, don't go away. All right, so this bag, it's its a little bit larger than some of the bags I had in the past. And the thing that I like best about it, as opposed to previous bags I had like this in the past, is it's symmetrical. Uh, back in the day when I had, uh, you know, like the, the Fat Boy, I mean, that's the one that most people are gonna think of, so I have to mention it. They're, they were set up to be where you had to choose either left hand or right hand, like which side of your body you wanted it to hang on. Uh, whereas this one, it is symmetrical, so it can go on either side. It reminds me a little bit of, I can't even remember the name of it, but there was another bag that was symmetrical and it was a lot bigger. Uh, but this is like the size that I was looking for. You know, so with all the, the, the fancy schmancy stuff that they've put out this year, this is kind of almost like an old, an updated old school design uh, that not that many people were talking about. But as soon as I saw the updated design, I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want that one. So just going through the different pockets, and this, is, this isn't like going to be one of those videos where it's like, I have this in this pocket, not in that pocket. Right now, it's just got a few things that I'm using and figuring out how I want to do it. The carry handle is very nice. And you've got the uh, a good foam pad there. The top pocket with the Velcro patch has got the uh, the soft inner layer. So obviously this is set up, you know, where you could throw your sunglasses in there. Got a front pocket here. That's where I just keep a notebook and some pens. Uh, like I said, the, the design of this, huh, I wonder what, that's interesting. Obviously that's meant to do that, but to what end, I don't know. Maybe there's something else. I don't know, I just noticed that. So the main compartment, you do have the, the cinch, keep everything inside of it. You've got, it's kind of hard to see. You got Velcro panels in there for mounting uh, accessories or however you however you choose to do it. On the front, Velcro. Now I got a couple things in here, so this is like where I put a couple tools and I try to go with the smaller stuff. 
instead of the bigger, heavier things like a full-size flashlight and a full-size multi-tool because that's when you get small bags like this, you start picking up weight really, really quickly. So this is very versatile for a lot of things. And you've got pockets on each side here and also on each side this will expand so you can zip that down pull that velcro tab and it's big enough to hold like a standard size water bottle so that is pretty nice but it can be cinched up nice and solid out of the way if you're not using it for that got the disconnect over here got loops all over the friggin place this one does come set up with a strap like a waist strap if you need to cinch it up around you I left it on there for this video I'm gonna take it off because I'm not going to use that backside so this would probably be like where you would used for a CCW compartment. It does have panels right there for that. Just standing back so you can kind of see on me about the size of this bag. So it's a nice size for a grab and go bag to just keep the essentials. And the other thing like I, I keep trying to stress to people is just just have the essentials, but leave a lot of it empty because that's where you, you get into the thing where you, you pick something up or you have to carry something. And if you've already got this thing loaded up like some zombie apocalypse, you know, super survival bag, then you got to carry two bags. So just have like a couple of the extra essentials in these things. Uh, you know, you could use it that way. You could use it as a grab-and-go bag, you know, behind behind your uh, seat or whatnot. But I like to... Over time, I've changed, and I've kind of just learned. It's hard for me because, like, I'm a gear freak, and I have to tell myself I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't definitely don't need that. Uh, but I've gotten better with that, and that just lightens the load, and it makes it versatile. So when you're actually out, and you pick up a water bottle, you can you got somewhere to put it, or you pick up something somewhere, you've got somewhere to freaking put it. Found this random stranger wandering out in the woods. I was hiding, been hiding for a couple months. <laughs> well, you know, Chris was saying is is absolutely true to his and my point of view, as the fact that you know his point of view is not leaving this thing too overstacked, too overpacked, and I would agree with that totally. I would almost treat this exactly like. An extremely comfortable haversack. This, as a haversack, this is a great, comfortable piece of equipment to have a bag on my back with all my main stuff, and then have this with, you know, the essentials: fire making, maybe a tarp or something like that, a water bottle, the essentials that I need to carry in the woods, and keep this thing as empty as possible. That way, I can walk through the woods, you know, and say, "Oh, there's tinder," you know, I can stuff that in here, or uh, there's this resource, or uh, I just found some wild edibles, some, some mushrooms, or something like that. And I can add to my bag while I'm walking through the woods with natural resources so that I'm saving the resources that I did bring with me, like fire making and et cetera, et cetera, stuff like that. So I wanted to make this one, you know, quick and simple, let you see it, let you see about the approximate size of it up close, let you see it on my body, you know, what it might be good for, you know, how much that it costs, that sort of thing. Because I just feel like this is one of those ones that because it's more of like an old school design and there's all this new stuff out it gets overlooked and for those of us that have been around for a while and remember that day and age when everybody had a fat boy uh yeah this is like the newer better updated you know that same idea and it's got everything on this that i wish the other one had back then you know the symmetrical and all that stuff um so how am i going to use this i'm not totally sure because now I have like two bags of like the same relative 
uh, size, you know, that Hidden Woodsman bag that I got the other day. I love that freaking thing. Um, but I'll, I'll, find, I'll figure something out. Now the next video that we're going to do is, I think it's called the Katara. It's a, it's a VanQuest bag, and that one is a very interesting bag in that it can be modified as a full backpack or a sling bag going either which way. Uh, it's very different. I thought it was really freaking cool. They asked me if I wanted to review it, and I said yes, but I've recently got a whole bunch of bags, so I know that I'm not probably going to use it. So why don't we make that one a review slash giveaway? And they're like, yeah, that sounds awesome. So when we get to that one here pretty soon, uh, that bag will actually be a giveaway video. So uh, you'll have your chance to win one of those. So that's all I got for right now. If you want to check this out, I'm going to put links to VanQuest's website in the description box below. I'll check and see if they're on Amazon. If they are, I will add them to the store because I really like this one. And any other pertinent links that we talked about in the video, I'll go ahead and add down below. So that's all I got for right now. And you got to see Will. So people were wondering. Will's been working. Yeah. Will has a real job. 70 hours a week. <sighs> yeah. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. Yeah. So, all right, guys. See you next time.